Every state in America seems to have its own unique way of dealing with gun rights. Uh, you know, in Texas, they believe that the only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with, uh, well, I'll let Roy Wood Jr. tell you. School's back in session, which means college students are stocking up on textbooks, cargo shorts, and in Texas, ammunition? Texas will allow people with concealed handgun permits to carry their guns into public university buildings, classrooms, and dorms. That's right. Now the freshman 15 is just how many bullets your gun can hold. And with campus shootings on the rise, Open Carry Texas founder C.J. Grisham says it's about damn time. Wherever I plant my feet, as a free man, I should be able to carry my firearm. So everywhere but space? Yeah, pretty much. I should be able to carry my gun into that classroom, into that cafeteria, into that stadium. The place where there's all the alcohol. People carry into Olive Garden all the time, and they serve alcohol there, and we don't have uh, shootouts. Well, of course nobody's shooting at Olive Garden. When you're there, you're family. We're not talking about anybody being able to carry on to a campus. We're talking about 21-year-old students who have been trained. Okay. But even in cowboy country, not everybody was welcoming their new locked and loaded classmates. Lady that hates guns, Jessica Jen. Guns should not be on college campuses. But this is Texas, though. You know the Texas state motto. If it moves, shoot it. I don't think that a student has the capability to react appropriately in the unlikely event of a mass shooter. But they have a gun. They're trained. In Texas, it only takes four hours to get a concealed handgun license. Wait, four hours to learn how to shoot a gun? Right. I had a job at Baskin Robbins. I, it took them a week to teach me how to scoop ice cream. <laughs> a week to learn how to do that. OK, maybe the training is a little lax, but what are these sexting Frenchstagramming millennials going to do about it? We're fighting guns on campus with dildos. And y'all just carrying dildos around? Absolutely. We are strapping gigantic dildos to our backpacks. This is a family show. You don't bring, mama, turn the channel. Does my mama watch this now? We're fighting absurdity with absurdity. Or at least that was the plan. It turns out that it's illegal to openly brandish a dildo in Texas. Really? Yes. So this is legal. This is illegal. Welcome to Texas. Why is this blurred out? Damn, it's illegal on Comedy Central, too. Even though it was illegal, Jen's rebellious dildo protest caught fire and spread like a STD on a college campus. <laughs> Students proudly showed off their dildos to show gun activists that... that, that oh, 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 my God, he's just throwing all the dicks in there. That is a lot of dicks. Bringing dildos onto a college campus, it's very vulgar, it's very obscene, and I think waving a penis around is uh, quite, quite immature. I mean, we are talking about college students who probably haven't matured yet. <sighs> this dude is gonna give me a migraine. Should you have a gun if you haven't fully matured? Yes. Immature people can still be very responsible. But Grisham still had more to prove. The left has this obsession with male genitalia. They say that because I carry a gun, I'm obviously compensating for something. What you packing? I carry a normal size, uh, or average size 45. What'd you say, average? It's about average. It's about uh, four inches, barrel length. You ever thought about extending that barrel? The, the larger the, the gun, the harder it is to conceal. That's for sure. Oh, I know. Grisham wasn't taking these dildos laying down, so he set up a massive counter-protest. All right, it was four motherfuckers with a sign and a big rifle. There was a purpose to us open carrying a gun to show that we're not a threat. Because of this protest, I've gotten death threats. And these aren't casual threats. One pro-gun advocate went so far as to release a film of someone murdering a dildo protester. But dildo haters in Texas laws weren't enough to keep Jessica's dicks at home. It doesn't feel good to walk around with a dildo in my backpack. But people have become so numb to gun violence in America. Our dildos are an object of political resistance. To keep Jessica out of jail, I had to help these illegal dick protesters. I will teach you the techniques of proper protesting as taught to me by the couple of civil rights movies that I watched this morning. My solution? make dildos legal on a Texas campus by adding a gun. Guns, 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 Put your dick in there! Guns, 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 guns. Let's go! Cops, not glocks! Cops, not glocks! Cops, not glocks! Who knows? Maybe we could bring these two sides together. If your firearm makes someone uncomfortable, what should they do? Uh, close their eyes. Educate themselves. Take this. Look at that. 
I'm actually a little uncomfortable holding it. I just don't like holding one of these. Well, maybe you should close your eyes and educate yourself. Hello? Mr. President, how are you? Yes, of course. Oh, you want me to let people know they can watch full episodes of The Daily Show for free anytime with the Comedy Central app or at thedailyshow.com? Yes, of course. Yes, I know I'm fake news. All right, love you too. Bye-bye.